G'day guys, Bloody Drongo here with you, aka Emu, and welcome back to Foster's Brewery. Now, I know it's been a long time between drinks, but I am finally back with a new episode. And you might be wondering, Drongo, where have you been, and what have you been up to? And if you didn't ask that, que ask that question, well, I'm going to tell you anyway, so deal with it. So, I've just not really felt like playing Worm that much lately, I've been fairly busy in real life, but I have been, you know, logging in on a fairly regular basis, just not for very long. I've been chipping away at this little structure up on the hill here to our right, which is actually my own personal little estate house. Unfortunately, I haven't done any time lapse on that. It's just been a little project that I've been chipping away from when I haven't really felt like doing much else. So, because the time lapses take quite a bit of time to actually do, um, it it's it makes sense for me at least uh, for my enjoyment of the game to have a little project on the side that I can sort of chip away on when I don't feel like sitting down and playing Worm for two or three hours at a time. So this little building up on the hill has been primarily what I've been working on. I mean, considering the break in between videos in this series it's not a whole lot not much has changed like I said I really have not been playing much but I will show you this building quickly uh, just so you can sort of have check it out uh, before we go any further I will say that today's episode is going to be making a little farm so I've, what I've done here is made this little mansion estate kind of style house and we've got this little compound up here all these crops and farms up here are going to be replaced by the farms that we're going to be making today, hopefully. And yeah, so we'll, we'll take a quick look inside, just show things off. We've got a nice little lobby area here. I'll just hop off my horse so we can, can show you this quickly. Uh, all of this is yet to be decorated, all very much a work in progress. Got some rooms up the top here. Um... This is my little personal room. The one... I've, I've ground a few skills. Well, quote unquote, ground a few skills while I've been away properly. I have finally reached 90 archery. Have reached uh, 99 fight skill as well, which is a bit of a milestone for me. And yeah, look, this is my little workshop here. And out this side door here is um, the back side of the building, which is yet to be constructed. But this was inspired by the Factional Fight guys. I remember watching a video quite some time ago of theirs where they were building a building that was dug down into the ground. And the idea is that it gives you the feeling as if you have a basement into your building. And I really like that idea. So what I'm doing is I'm going to have two separate buildings here as part of this one overall building so the idea will be is that uh, eventually there will be a bridge that goes across in between the buildings and you will be able to go down into a little basement here and it'll be a wine cellar or something like that so that's that's pretty much it for for this what I will do now is we will ride down and we will check out the area that we'll be working on today fortunately I have been very lucky and I have Jake Rivers and Glory visiting me from over on Exodus and they're going to be helping me out today with this video. Uh, they're currently down there making a few sandstone bricks. I wanted to use some of the new building materials that have been put into the game semi-recently, which I haven't had a chance to really use much yet, so hopefully it'll turn out alright. But this will be the area we're working with today. All of this stuff next to the orchard will be farmland and I want to incorporate in some hop trellises and that kind of thing because I mean it is the Foster's Brewery so we need to work out some way of growing hops to make our beer. Uh, over to the right here we're going to have like a little cookhouse slash uh, crop storage house and here we have Jake and Glory hard at work making some bricks. There's not a huge amount that needs to be done in terms of terraforming. I've got some crates of dirt over here ready to go. I'm going to be raising up this little area here because it is a little bit lower than what we want it to be. But primarily the bulk of the work is just going to be clearing these trees, making some buildings and some fences, and just organizing things. So it should be pretty straightforward. It shouldn't be particularly time consuming. Uh, but nonetheless, let's get right into it.
here we are quite some time later. Now this actually took, um, I don't actually know how many hours, but it took a lot longer than I thought it would. I think I'd forgotten since it's been a while how long these videos actually take and how long actually building all these things really takes in worms sometimes. But we are all finished. So up here we have the orchard, which I covered in one of the first episodes that we did. And to our right here, we have the new farmhouse. Now I did my best to use some of the new textures and the new wall types or newer, I should say. So we've got all of this made out of sandstone. The roof and floors are slate. And yeah, so we've got the these large wall openings here, which should give the building a really nice open feel to it. I'm going to put um, all kinds of storage, BSBs, food storage bins and stuff down on this bottom level here. And then on the upstairs level, we're going to have some ovens and that kind of thing for cooking. Of course, we've got our nice little farming plots here, which I've sown with some seeds. Got all different types here and going along the back as well and along in the little odd patches here and there I've got planted a couple of fruit trees and then along in a few strips here we've also got some berry bushes and like camellia, lavender, roses that kind of thing just planted out in a few different segments there so hopefully they'll be able to grow and this will sort of become my little resource collecting area sort of thing and uh, yeah so I think it looks pretty great we've got some nice brass lamps there along the side here we tried something a little bit different which Jake was telling me uh, is a really cool idea and he's done in the past and it was to have the slabs planted out in a uh, using the closest center uh, uh, close closest corner, plant closest cl corner for these diamond tiles that reach up into the air just to give these some of these edges a little bit more of a flat sort of finish. Because of these tile, the way some of these tiles work unfortunately it does still mean you do have some sharp edges there but I think it's a, a really nice sort of effect and it sort of makes it look a little bit more natural but I just thought that was maybe something that was worth worth mentioning and I, I kind of like it so I think I might go around at some point and do the rest of the rest of the canyon this way or the crater now here we have uh, faux bagel my faux priest sanctus who did all the screen capturing for the time lapse we then also have glory on the far right there and Jake rivers in the center looking very dashing in his armor and his crowbar uh, big thank you to you guys for helping me out uh, with this deed or this uh, building project and this episode of Foster's Brewery and uh, thank you very much for bringing over this beautiful stag hota statue. Now in a couple of weeks, or sorry, um, in a bit over a month from now, uh, aiming for about mid-October, there will be an Impalong hosted on Exodus at Nadroj's little Magronon's Rest, I believe it's called. That little deed there. And Impalong being held there. Uh, it's a beautiful deed, absolutely awe-inspiringly beautiful deed. Uh, so I highly recommend everybody you, who can comes along to that. There'll be all kinds of different events, games, giveaways, uh, and of course, like sermons and imps and you know, usual impalong sort of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, and I'll be coming along as well for various things, maybe doing a couple of videos depending on what kind of events we're running at the time and what kind of time zones they occur in. But, yeah, so keep an ear out for that. The impalong coming along soon. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. Until next time, stop playing with yourself and play with somebody else. Catch you later.